All right, what's up, guys? Ape Nick Gamer. We are back. So today, I've been saving this one for a couple months at this point. But we got ourselves a sealed booster bundle of Paldean Fates. Or a booster bundle box. Sorry, guys. I'm super excited to open this. It's nice and sealed. We're going to be ripping open two booster bundles today. One of them will be showcased one pack a day on shorts. Like you know we do. Because we always do it that way. But whether you're up on cloud nine. Whether you're keeping your spirits high. Or you're just here to chill and vibe. We're here to do some what? Pack opening. And here it is. The booster bundle box. It's all nice and sealed up as you can see. But let's unseal it. All right, guys. So this is the point where it's slightly unsealed. Let's let's not rip this. Come on, Nick. You're better than this. You can you can make the display case work like you work at Target or something. But yeah, this is how it would have looked if you found it in a shop somewhere, something like that. It would just be these on the top down. And then let me flip this. It's kind of heavy, and I don't want them to fall out. But bump my mic a little bit. But yeah, this is how it would look if it was in a storefront. If it was in the if it was in the store shelves, you know what I'm saying? Like, looks something like that. Always like to show them off. But as you guys know, today, I'll just take them from the back because it's easier to show you guys. Or I won't take them from the back because it's still difficult to take out. But we're taking these two out, putting them off to the side. We're going to put this off. Okay, now that I've put that off to the side, we got ourselves a, a little bit of a scooching needed on my seat. Because I feel like I'm not close enough. But we got ourselves here two count them two booster bundles so the first one will have every pack going to shorts and the other one will be completely for you guys again this is a thank you to the reason i'm opening up more packs than i normally do again i'm not like a high paid person you know what i mean that can just be affording to rip a ton of packs all the time but i do like to try to do a little something because I appreciate you guys in the community that have gotten me up to 2,000 subs. That's a great milestone for me, and I really appreciate it. So I hope you guys get good luck with your code cards and enjoy the content. Let me... Dang, dude. I, I ripped a hole in it and still couldn't get it. There we go. But yeah, let me come back when I've, I've ripped both these open. All right, guys. We're back. So we ripped open them, and then they come open like this. Which some of you guys, if you follow me and have me on sub and ring the notification bell and stuff, you'll know that I do like showcase shorts. So let's just show off the whole box, you know what I mean? The whole folding scheme. And then you just kind of pop it open like that. And pull out your little boosters. Then we're going to do that with the second one too. We're just going to throw this off to the side. So we'll put these in two separate packs in the corner. So when I'm done with one stack, we'll know that I'm done with my shorts, and then we'll go into the second stack. will be just for you guys, and we'll also be able to judge what booster gave us what, you know what I mean? So I haven't ripped these in a little bit, guys. I'm not going to lie to you, because I've been mainly doing temporal forces, and the ones that you have been seeing were pre-recorded for my last setup, if you guys couldn't tell from the videos. So, you know, let's hope for some heat. There's a shiny Pikachu on the front of that one. This one is the Cerulead shiny. I have not gotten the Cerule Edge yet. Code card. And we'll start with graphs. It was fire. I was wrong. But yeah, I've, if you guys haven't seen, I've pulled like the shiny Pikachu and stuff. So there are certain shinies that I've gotten in here that were actually pretty big heaters. Gas. So, but let's see if we can get some new stuff. The Rolling Ralts. Toad School. The Woo. Ultra Ball. Prime Ape. The Whimsical Whimsicott. Oh, it's a Reverse Paldean Student Scarlet Edition. That's the version I play. And then Annihilate Reverse. And a Cyclozar Hollow. Okay, not the greatest start yet. But, you know, we've also had worse starts. Well, we've had similar starts and have done just fine. So I feel like that's a, you know, I mean, if that's not a fair point, nothing is. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what, what else we can do. I was about to say the primate, the Paldean students. Yeah, Scarlet was the addition I play because usually when like my friends go, hey, yo, we're getting a game. I'm like, what version are you getting? I'll just get the opposite because they usually all end up getting the same version of the game. That's just how it usually goes. I mean, granted, I actually did want the Scarlet version. Code card. 
I don't know, I'm, I'm more into like the dinosaur aspect and like ancient times aspect, so that idea seemed better to me. Electric, because it was a Pikachu. Well, at least I had type advantage. The fam famp. The lap ass. Toad school. La chonker. Oh, Gengar, he's always licking something. Charmeleon. Blink alone. Reverse Charmeleon. That's right. If I didn't like him the first time, well, he's coming back for more. Reverse Ravoom. And a Hollow Mag Mortar. Okay. Again, not the greatest of starts, guys. I was kind of hoping that these booster bundles would be kind of like a 151 situation where, you know, the booster bundles end up giving like a lot of heat. But so far, hasn't held true. Doesn't mean it won't change. I know the mini tins for this set was on some crazy stuff when I was opening them. But again, I have hope. I have hope that will be better. There will be big pickups, big big moments here. I still have not pull, pulled the Zard or the Mew. Personally, again, everyone loves the Zard. Who doesn't love a good Zard? But I am more of the Mew fan of the art in this set. Code card. I don't know. I'm just a sucker for weird cartoon drawing stuff. You know what I mean? I think that's just, just like the art. And then electric. Dang, I went for two electrics and didn't come out successful on either. Fan Fan Fampy. Dedene. Oh, Noibat. Chimical. The Shaft of the Scraft. Swooing the Wooing. Gengar. I think this is the reverse. Reverse Heat Rotom. Heat Rotom always comes to pay us a visit, huh? We can't get away from that, man. Uh, and we got the Pommies. Yeah, I've gotten the Pommies quite a few times, guys. If you guys know that this set isn't very rare to get these, but I'll always take them. Why not? I love the art. And a Hollow Armor Rouge. Shooting down the Luge. I guess that wouldn't make any sense. Because that's like a Winter Olympic game type sport. Luge, right? I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I, I'm, I'm confident someone will correct me. Again, guys, we did get our first hit. But at this point, this feels like the hit you don't want. Because I've already gotten these. I've already gotten the illustration rares. So I would like more baby shinies. Because my baby shinies are low. Because this set is just to the extreme with the amount of baby shinies you need. It's nuts. But that's why you collect. That's why I make content. Well, I make content also because I just enjoy the community. Code card. But I also just enjoy the hobby and I enjoy collecting. You know what I mean? Electric. Hmm. I'm not going to lie. I was going to guess water. So, because I told you we can't keep guessing electric. I knew I was feeling it somewhere, but I just had to give up on it. But yeah, let me know how you guys have done in your sets and what you have collected. Charcadet. Clob that puss. And if you guys have gotten any heaters like the Mew or the Zard, vroom vroom, the Frigid Backs, Erupt the Camel, Moonlit Hill, Dawn Fun. Oh, snap. Art to Backs, Baby Shiny. I have pulled him as well. I've actually pulled both Frigid Backs and Art to Backs, but we will take it. I'm not going to complain with a hit. A hit is a hit. Technical Crisis Machine of Punching. Reverum room hollow so we will take it what i do with these personally guys since again i don't give away cards or anything personally at least not in this stage in my my content career or content um yeah we'll call it career pursuit whatever you guys want to consider it but um, I add them like the Palmy and the Artibacks are going to end up in a trade binder. And then usually what I like to do is, is uh, trade to local shops for cards that either I don't have or just for discount on more packs to open for more content for you guys. And I'm already ripping this. I need to move these off screen. Look at how excited I am to get into the next pack. Shame on me. Good card. Good card though. Ah, oh, Pikachu naked. Paldean Student Scarlet Edition. Fried Dough. Hauntor. Oinkalone. Artazone. That was in the new anime, by the way. Lantern. Reverse Erupt That Camel. 
reverse gold god dango and a toad scroll sweet so i've had the fortress i've actually gotten the ex fortress twice wait and a dark energy because i didn't pull it dang it what is wrong with me i'm not guessing the energies but um i have actually gotten the fortress ex twice so it is good to see that i finally got his his grass friend the toad scroll w first hit of the of the pack opening that i've actually needed let's go something to be happy about with that but this is the last pack of the code card set or of the short set for the code cards again i always always say to everyone in these videos as you guys know pull or try to get it anyway gold card you know what i mean you never know they might not be used you, you just never know uh and then we're gonna go with fire psychic but i remembered this time Mhm. Mm that's right mass chief i don't know why i want like a reward or a cookie for that but i remembered this time ralts butt face fried dough atticus Oh, the family. Waifu from her new milk box that I need to go get. Reverse family. Man, that makes it feel like the dad left or something. Professor's Research Reverse from Violet Edition. Oh, and a hollow mad boss, dude. Okay, rough way to end out that one. Not gonna lie, but we did get like three hits in this. So what I'm going to do, if you guys are already familiar with openings like these, because I love to do comparisons and hold them to the flame. <laughs> I'm going to take this set off and move it off camera here. And then I'll put it back on when we are comparing the two. These cards, though, now are just for you guys. I don't know what happened to these and shipping or when I got these, but look, they're all like crumpled on the bottom. But the cards didn't look like they had any damage on them from my glancing at them, but... Let's face it, my eyes aren't always the best, but they did look better than most of Temporal Forces, at least that came from the ETBs. Again, the booster, the booster bundle, the booster box wasn't too bad, to be honest. They were good looking too. Code card. Ding dong, ding dong. Uh, water. I got type advantage. We all know it, we all love it. I accidentally clicked something on my mouse off screen. My bad. Seems to all be recording and still be nicey nicey, so we like that. So that was a fire energy. Oh, we got we're starting off hot with some pneumonia. Not you. Rare candy. Cotton me. Oh, the lantern. Oink alone. Jiving cliving. <laughs> Let's go first pack of this set and it's hitting me with the shiny Basharp. let's go i have the shiny king gambit so that just goes towards my set reverse room 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 red room and of course our friend pays us a visit nothing like a heat row tom to make a man go damn you're just always here aren't you man you just you're just always gonna be in one of my openings huh you just love me that much huh? i appreciate you too heat row tom and don't worry, he is not going on top of Bisharp. I'm going to hide him. Behind him. Mm-hmm. You've haunted me far too many times. You'll just be peeking out. But we'll take that. that that's a good start. You know what I mean? Because we've only gotten one hit. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be critical. What I have in my set, I won't give as big of a hit to. I'm just being honest because I already have them, like you know what I mean. But that's a new hit, so we're one of we're matching one on one for new hits so far that we've pulled from these. Code card. So if we get one more new hit, we're already kind of like at equal with three hits. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna guess grass, dark. No correlation. I had the type advantage last time. That's that's why Bisharp came out. Oh, it's the woo. Scraggles. Give me that ghoul butt face. Artisone. Lantern. The jiving cliving. Really, bro? We're gonna do this? Really, bro? Okay. 
not even gonna say his name. The Crisis Punch. And a Cerule Edge Hollow. Okay, the Cerule Edge is cool. Yeah, I'd say that. The Cerule Edge is cool. We love a Cerule Edge, a good little Cerule Edge, you know? Just to go pop. Actually, to be honest, Cerule Edge is a cool design. I very much like the Cerule Edge design, and I do like it better than Armor Rouge. I don't know. I just I just do. I think Armor Rouge is cool, too. I think the whole Char Cadet, like, like evolution thing is cool. Split evolutions. You know what I mean? But Cerule Edge will be more of a favorite. It's like it's like a Polyrath to Polytoad for me. Polytoad will always be my favorite over Polyrath. Code card. It's just how it is, you know? Um, fire. Water. No. We lost the back matchup. That is bad news. Pineco. Noom noom noomo. Miraculous Maractus. Paldean Student Scarlet Edition. Primate. Don't get too mad. You might die. Ultra Ball. Ah, oh, the family. Reverse Eruption. Ah, oh, Johnny Dang Dang Dango with that gold god dang reverse dango. <gasps> EX Great Tusk. I think I have you. I think I have you. Yep, I'm pretty sure I remember your face. But it is a hit. So right now, we have three more packs that can say we'll get either two hits or we will get, you know, one more hit. And if it's a new one, then I'm going to be honest, the Pommies mean absolutely nothing to me. So, you know what I mean? They're basically the same as an EX in terms of my ranking, just because they're so common to get the illustrations out of packs. And that, that counts like the Wug Trios, the Pally Palafins, all of them are all in the same guidelines. I'd much rather see a Baby Shiny, in my opinion. Good guard. Um, again, I haven't seen a grass, so I'm just going to shoot for grass. It's electric. Well, at least that's neutral. Oh, pneumonia. Char. Rare candy. Frigid back. The whimsical whimsicott. Scraft that shaft. Electric gen. Ooh, this is a baby shiny. Ooh, I, okay, I'm a huge gen four fan. That was my favorite gen, not counting the remakes. The remakes are very much not my favorite. But this Drift Bloom, uh, or Drift Loon, sorry, is just great shiny, great, like great colors, you know what I mean? Great contrast to the original. And then the reverse family. And a hollow gold dang dang dango, but that means off rip. We've gotten three hits in this. We got three hits in the last one. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, as far as I'm concerned, the second one was better. But again, like, if we're talking about actual rarity pulls, technically the Pommy takes it. You know, but that's not what we're looking for. We got a Pommy already. I got a Pommy in my collection. You know what I mean? So for me personally, this one was better out of the two. But so far, pretty good odds. You know what I mean? If I'm if I'm pulling 50%, I consider that not not horrendous. Still nothing crazy from these, but I will I will take filling out my shiny collection because you know what I mean it's it, it's like an impossible collection to complete to be honest. Code card, especially if you're just gonna rip packs. There's just no way. Uh, steel. There it is. It's grass. We love good grass, but come on, guys. Oh, that lap ass. Scraggles. Oh, no, don't evolve. Mastiff. Moonlit Hill. Oh, the evolution of Charmander. Oh, the fried dough became a bun. Oh. Espostra, or es Espothra. Espothra, there we go. And it's a full art. I haven't gotten a full art from this set in a minute. Hell yeah. <laughs> this is a juice <laughs> this is a juice booster box. Oh boy. I'm gonna put you off to the side, Professor's Research Violet Edition. And the Houndstone Hollow. 
you know, I know there can be a chance of a double banger in this set. I've seen it happen. It is possible. Um, but I don't expect that. But oh my god, we got a full art. Let's go. I would take a full art all day over getting another one of those illustration like Pommies or Palafins. Especially a new one. Well, actually, I'm not going to lie. If I got the Fortress, which is like... And I got the Glamora and the Fortress. And those are the only two. I'd be kind of sad if I got another one of them. But this is a new one. And that makes me happy. Um, in terms of the gold cards, I got a Wu Chen. Actually, I've gotten two Wu Chen golds. And I got on these Nuts gold. But we still need to on these Nuts gold. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm hoping for some last pack magic because it's last pack and that's where the magic should be. You know what I mean? But I'm also gonna be very honest with you guys. Do I think it's in here? I have hope in my heart, but logically I'm saying no. Um, uh, fire. Uh, maybe, maybe they read my mind. Maybe that's what the psychic's saying. And we're, they're like, yup, you read our minds and we read yours. It's either that means they're going to give me a hit or they're not, but I'm leaning towards maybe not. Pineco Noom Noom, not you. Haldean Students, Scarlet, Swoo in the Wooin. Lick that thing, dude, lick that thing. Charmeleon. Reverse Dead Dene. Uh-oh, Reverse Mass Chief. And as you guys know, I'm historically bad at getting a hit in my rare slot across the board, but especially in Paldean Fates. Oh well, the Vroom Vroom Reva Room. I can't really complain. There was there was four hits out of six packs. <laughs> I mean, again, we can hope for hits in every single pack because like there's hits in multiple slots, but gotta be a little realistic. You know what I mean? You can't can't get it all. You know what I mean? Can't have your cake, eat it too, and then re like re blow the cake up onto your like you know what I mean? Put the cake back. You know, you can't you can just can't do that. So on with the recap. All right, guys, got the two sets here. We're going to work on the first box. But yeah, what I was trying to say is you can't have your cake and eat it too and then make the cake reappear and then eat it again. That's what I meant to say. But I was so blown away with this opening because it was actually really good. Actually, both openings. I was just having a good day. You know what I mean? But this is my boss thief. You got your EX Cruel Toad School. You got your Rever Room. I already have an Artibax, but we take we take hits. We already have the Pommy, but we take hits. Armor Rouge down the Luge. Hollow, we're gonna put him here just so he doesn't shine too bad. Magmortar and the Cyclozar. That was one. So that was a three hitter, to be honest, not bad. Again, Toad School, Artibax, and a Pommy. So it, it really wasn't bad. We got an illustration rare, like a secret, or is that a secret illustration rare? I think it's a secret illustration rare with the Pommy. So that's pretty sick right there, you know what I mean? Um, and it seems like you get one of those per booster bundle. So honestly, not bad. At least from these first two, I do have more clearly. So we will be opening those up at least at some point eventually. Second. I don't know why I do it like this. Let's just put it down here. Second booster bundle. Vroom Vroom Rever Room. Then we got this Full Art Espostra. Shiny. With a... With a bug bug terror type on top i had to make sure because it says grass but you know what i mean bug doesn't get represented properly houndstone then we got the shiny drift loon gold johnny dang dang dango let's 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 move these properly ex great tusk so ruling the rule edge we got our sharp 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 no 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 hero tom does not count we are not counting hero tom so one two three four five six seven in this one one two three four five six seven eight fine nine nine there was nine hollows total because a lot of our in this one in the second one just seemed to be a lot of rare uh reverse hollow slots that was pulling some great stuff but i would say the highlight of my pulls today is definitely this bad larry because let's just be honest i don't have it and it's that's that's pretty much it i don't have it but now that's two different uh full art type of cards you know what i mean one's a full art one's an illustration rare i get that but then also getting two shinies instead of one plus an ex i do have the ex well i didn't have the other one but one new card versus three new cards i think we all know that box two was better 
but yeah, guys, I also wanted to say again, thank you for the 2,000 subs. I appreciate it. I will continue to make content from here. I don't know where I'll be when this video comes out, but just know I appreciate all of you guys in the community and all the love and support that I've gotten, and I plan to just keep going from here. So like if you liked, sub if you're new, you know what I mean, or ring the bell because I'm putting shorts out like every day. The only day I don't is sun Sundays, but I also make sure at least a video comes out Sunday, so I upload every day. You know what I mean? So just stay tuned for it. Um, I don't ever do big openings because small YouTuber, you know what I mean? Just doing this as a fun hobby. I don't have the money to just be spending on packs and stuff, to be absolutely honest, but I do like what I do. So thank you guys for that. Um, but until next time, this is Ape Nick Gamer signing off. Peace.